Hello, it's Lorraine here, and this is um, my class Go Go Large, and this is um, session two of our Go Go Cyber Style for October. Yeah, so in your lovely kits, you've got all these goodies that you can see that I'm showing here. Uh, you've got the Amy um, Tangerine Late Afternoon, the lovely Bramble Fox stencil, you've got leaf template, and that lovely speciality, look at that sparkle. So you have a template that I mention in your instructions. So just using that template to mark out where I'm going to put my mixed media. So I'm coming in here with the chalk inks, the lovely Heidi Swap um, chalk inks, that lovely dusky um, sort of rose pink. So I've marked where I'm going to put that half starburst and just gently tape that down with some masking tape and going in there with um, my ink dabber to give a nice soft effect and then again the opposite side lining them up with those measurements that are in your printed instructions and again just making sure that all those parts in the stencil are, are filled I do at try and add a little bit more of the ink to um, various parts of it to give um, you know a bit more depth of that colour. Just showing you the kebab stick there, you'll need that in a little bit. So I set that aside while I work on the, the technique for the class, which is this oversized embellishment, which for um, my class is this lovely flag banner element. So they're just marking on that patterned paper where I'm going to cut. You see that I use the opposite side of that to kind of make that, that same lean, that cut, where I want it to be. Again, the measurements from your instructions. I love that rich aubergine sort of tone. So you've got a template of a maple leaf. So here I am cutting that out. I just stuck that down with some repositional tape to hold that in place while I cut round. A lovely leaf leaf shape to to use to add texture and interest to an autumn themed layout. So just rubbing off the glue there, and just going around the edges with my um, paper distresser again, just to give it a bit more texture. I've done the same on the banner background. and just gently making some light folds to represent where the veins would be on that, that leaf. I didn't bother to mark it with a pencil or anything, I made it sort of quite organic, natural looking. And just shaping it there slightly. So I'm gonna come in with that lovely speciality paper. Just marking where I'm gonna cut it, just making the pencil there to make sure the points are level. I really love the way that you can see that real sheen on there, but the actual colour of that mulberry aubergine paper is shining through from the background, but will not overpower when I place the photo. So just very gently distressing that as well. And just lining that up. Decided to secure that with two small staples. So I'm just measuring where they're going to be. So they're just equally the side. Add in some ink, that same pink, dusty pink ink, just to define the edges of that maple leaf. And that's going to become the backdrop for the photo. So nice lots of layers that are going to be featured on this oversized embellishment. Just adding that just to coordinate all in on the, the edges of the actual flag. So I'm thinking about here is, is that going to be enough, just one leaf? No, I, I want to create some more texture, bring some more of those lovely colours to these papers in. 
I'm coming in here, cutting out another one. Same size, same shape, using that template. And again, just folding that to create that natural sort of look of where the veins would be. Same as the, the previous leaf. Add a bit of texture with the paper distresser. It really did help, help the edges of the leaves curl up and sort of define to find that look. My photo is actually of my daughter's wedding last October, um, so it was in the autumn time, so it was really perfect for this layout. But you could really have so many different themes on here. And again, just coming back in with the ink, just again, so they had that subtle difference of color and definition on the edges. So I'm liking that better. I think that's a bit of a better backdrop. Playing around with what I want to feature on top, which is going to help the photo pop more. See, I can't decide. I go back and forth, back and forth. When I've decided, I just add a staple just in the middle of that, just to keep it secure. That'll be hidden under the photo. Yeah, thinking about how I want that to be. Do I want it to be central? I want to recreate the sort of look of um, my daughter and son-in-law sort of walking along that lane where they've had their photos taken. So I want to kind of put that at a good eye sort of level, ready for when it's going to be on my layout. Sticking that down with some good strong double-sided tape because it's going to become quite heavy. And of course it's sitting on that speciality paper. And I'm thinking, Okay, all these lovely ephemera here from the Amy Tan late afternoon range. I'm thinking what else am I going to add? Planning on where to put that kebab stick, which is trimmed down. The measurements are in, in your instructions. Thinking how I'm going to anchor that banner to the kebab stick. And thinking that actually I could place these over the staples and that will hide where I've secured that as well. So I've used two um, pattern papers there. I've used a strip of the that pink and then I believe it's a, a, one of the manufacturing strips of that lovely tartan to bring in some of the autumnal colours of the leaves in my photo. Just folding the edges up to make a nice neat loop. Sticking them down, making sure they're strong on there. Use some of the that strong red tape for this. Again, that helps. It's quite a thick piece. It's going to have the, the stick through, but it's also on that vellum, so that red tape is perfect. And there we go. We have both the loops for, for the banner. really liking how that's looking. It's bringing in that pink but also some of those other colours of that mustard. And here I've got one of the um, exclusive um, die cut words, uh, Autumn. I'm just very carefully going around with the paper distresser just again distressing those edges so it fits in with the rest of my, my banner and my page. And I'm thinking I'd like that at the top. I'm thinking about creating a cluster, that top left hand side. I really love this um, die cut from the Amy Tangerine Late Afternoon Ephemera Pack. Um, but I wanted to get rid of some of that, that white. So I've carefully gone round and fussy cut some of the white off. takes a little bit of time 
but I'm really pleased with how it looks afterwards. But if you really don't like fussy cutting, you could always ink the edges to just bring down that white a bit more. So I just moulding it slightly for a bit of texture and I'm thinking, yeah, that's a great backdrop for that word. Just inking the edges. The word again for help with definition and bring in the pink. I like how that looks because it brings in some of the mustards, it brings in a little bit of the blue. I'm trying to think what would I like it to say. So I've decided here at this point um, that I'd actually like to build on that cluster on the top left and I'd like to use this stamp. So it's one of the Amy Tan Late Afternoon clear stamps that are in your kit. And I stamped that in a really light grey onto that pink and very carefully fussy cut that. It's such a lovely stamp and not only is it the, the leaves that help represent that autumnal feel in my photo, actually my daughter had um, the theme of the decorations was hoops and the hoops were covered in um, vines of foliage and flowers so for me it really added that extra. So it just helps add another element to that background, another part of the layering. I'm thinking that looked quite cute through the through the stick. So I'd set that aside for a minute and use this lovely rose goldy copper frame from that ephemera pack to just add a little bit of glitz, help my photo pop. Again, it really brings in those lovely autumnal tones in the photo. Just use some um, wet glue here, fine tip bottle. So that sticks really well on top of that, those layers and that speciality paper. Really liking how that's looking, that little scalloped edge with a bit of, bit of metallic shine to it. Yeah, really liking how that's come together. just pressing that down but also um, just roughing up the edges of each little scallop so it doesn't lay flat. I was thinking as, as I made this that actually although it's intended and is going will be featured on my layout that actually it would be great as an independent kind of house decor gift it look great hanging up. You could even go even crazier with definition and dimension on that. So here I am making that cluster. So we've got the stamped wreath, the little cluster of flowers, ephemera and autumn word as uh, part of my title. And I'm thinking it's love, it's a wedding and it's autumn. So autumn love would be a really perfect title to use. So I've come in with those stickers just so it's easier for them to stick down and again to add a bit of definition. I've mounted them on that lovely um, Aubergine Mulberry colour paper. Fussy cut that out and then using foam pads. And then just slowly adding those in, fit, thinking about where that's going to fit best under that word autumn. It goes to the left, to the right, then back again, and then in the middle. Yeah, I think I'm really happy with that. So yeah, more foam pads. And I'm really happy with how that's going to look in that corner. Deciding whether to overlap that slightly over my photo. Yeah. I decided that's great where that's going to go. So I'm starting to work on the background some more here. So I decided to um, gently tear off the bottom section from my layout, from my um, cardstock background. Come in with a bit of that um, lovely paper. 
that is um, the reverse of what I've used for the banner background. So I'm just adding that back on so it measures back up to 12 inches. And that really shows that pop of that tartan that features on the top of the loops for the stick. Securing that nicely with a bit of masking tape so that doesn't peel off when it goes into a page protector. Yeah, really liking how that's going to look for putting this oversized embellishment on. Just turning up the edges a little bit more here. Again, if you can add a bit more dimension, well, why not? Just trimming that back a little bit so the pops of the blue come through. Yeah, really liking how that's going to look. Starting to all to come together now. Yeah, so I'm going to commit now. I'm going to commit and stick this oversized embellishment down onto my layout. Happy with it looks and I can um, add any finishing touches once that's down on the background. Using quite a lot of tape because it's going to be quite heavy. Yep, misplaced it just slightly so I turned it up the other way. So I was able to measure where that point was going to come. Starburst, see the side of that stencil from Bramble Fox. rubbing out there the little um, marks I put to make sure everything was central. On um, my kebab stick sticker, which I don't think is actually um, within my um, film, uh, I actually added some of the embroidery floss. The full six strands, I wound it round and round and just secured it either end with a little bit of glue that will show up really nicely in the close-up um, towards the end of this process video. I'm thinking to balance that um, title and cluster on the top left that I may need to um, think about something on that bottom right. So here you can see me trying various different things. Like, there's so many layers I can't decide which layer to put it under but finally go for it. There and that brings again some of those other colours from that top left cluster and the tartan at the bottom in and all of a sudden magically we have a cluster at the bottom too which is um, that lovely golden bow and then the date 2019 the year you'll see on that bow which isn't um, within this video you'll see on the bow actually I've cut off the two tails and made new tails from the paper and the speciality paper that I've used on my banner and that's just so that co coordinates. I felt the yellow was a bit too overpowering for my layout. And all I've done is just literally just cut little tails and again that's detailed in the instructions. So here I'm adding a bit of sparkle, some gems onto that starburst from the embellishments. Ch chose the colours that really help make my photo pop. I'm really loving how that's looking. Just add a little bit more ink in a couple of little places just to add a bit more texture and here I'm thinking right what else does it need just needs that final final touch and I'm thinking well I've distressed all the edges of everything else everything else has been inked to an inch of its life so I'm going to also do the same for the whole of that background each edge just to bring it all together. And here I've decided to add a little bit of stitching for again a bit extra texture and interest. So I've used the, the heart stamp, the two little heart stamp from um, the Amy Tangerine Late Afternoon Clear Stamps you have in your kit as a little template. So there's my um, layout. So yeah, really hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this process video. Look forward to seeing you. We're back in um, the rooms and yeah, ask me any questions um, that you have within our Facebook group. Um, yeah, or in one of the um, our lovely um, rooms we've got for 
over the weekend. Yeah, it's been great for you um, to be part of my class. And I really hope you've enjoyed creating this fabulous oversized embellishment. I really look forward to seeing your designs.